Hi friends. It's nice to see you today. I am doing my Wednesday live. It's Dr. Vicki here and I'm here to help you give you tools and tips and support on how to live a healthier, more evolved, more adaptable life. And today we are going to talk about what did you get out of this not that it's over, I'm not saying it's over, but what did you get out of this pandemic? And I think everyone, hey Stacy, I think everyone, you know, had the opportunity at least to get something positive out of it. And definitely some negative things came out of it for sure. But the, at the end of the day, life is yin and yang, good and bad. And for every bad thing, hopefully we can grow from it and learn from it. And we have to really look for those, those growing opportunities. So I'm gonna share with you my perspective of this, of what I got out of this, and maybe I'll give you some ideas to think about as well. Well, for me, um, this virus gave me an opportunity to really see how strong I am. Thank you. And same to you, I hope you're happy and healthy too um but it made me it gave me an opportunity to see how strong i was and gave me a lot of courage because as a chiropractor we are were deemed and i we always were but they deemed us essential the government did and we had the opportunity to stay open and support our patients and i have to be honest it was a really scary time for me and a lot of my colleagues did not open, they closed because they were afraid to either catch it, give it to another, for the patients to give it to each other or to possibly um, pose a risk. And what I learned from staying open was that I am such a strong and powerful woman and I had the help of my friends to support me and encourage me to stay open because I, I did have my doubts and Isla over here was with me the whole time. So that's another great thing is I got to bond with some family members that I hadn't been with for a while. We all were kind of taking care of each other and that was really a wonderful time for me when things were really crazy. Um, we did all come together and stay together and support each other. But oops, that's what happens when you have lives. So. Let me just close the door, one second. Sophie, I'm doing a live, so be quiet. Okay, I'm back, hi. <laughs> so, um, so definitely everyone got something out of this. Um, for me, again, it, it helped me build courage. It also showed me the power of chiropractic and how every patient that came in did so well because they were able to adapt to stress better because their nervous system was functioning on a much higher level. Their bodies were working so much better. And I felt really grateful that they trusted me and also that I could be there to support them. So I also saw that patients whose families were struggling did so much better that were coming in than their family members. Hey, Karen, so nice to see you. So I saw that chiropractic is such a powerful modality on so many levels for the immune system and for the function and ability to adapt and evolve to your environment. So that was so affirming to me and it made me even more solid within my belief system of how amazing the body is. So most people were really feeling a lot of fear and of course, I had some fear too. I mean, we're all human and they were really pushing the fear big time into us to keep us from doing, you know, resuming our lifestyle. And I understand that was a really smart thing. But at the end of the day, I think it, that fear is such a powerful emotion and it's so damaging and paralyzing that I think the fear is what really did the most damage, much more so than the virus and um, and I think it's an opportunity, you know, that fear is an emotion. It's not a reality. You know, we fear serves a purpose. It helps keep us out of danger. But when fear becomes immobilizing and paralyzing, then we have to really, you know, put our emotions in check and use our logical mind to 
keep it where it belongs, which is, is this true? Is this really, you know, am I gonna, you know, die if I, you know, step onto my front porch? If I walk my dog, will I catch a virus? Do I have to wear, I mean, I still see people wearing masks walking their dogs. So, you know, there has to be some level of, you know, getting through the fear. And the best way to get through the fear is just really to walk through it and to take that action and to see that you're gonna, you know, I'm alive still. Like I didn't wear the mask and I walked my dog and I'm still, I'm alive. So it's important to put fear where it belongs, which is, it's a low vibration emotion, okay? And just be in control of that. Um, so that was the good things I got from that. The bad things um, I got was just to see how, you know, the high rich, how the, um, the press, you know, can be so manipulating and, you know, there's not a lot of necessarily truth going on and I kind of knew that, but also to watch people and how they're so affected and hypnotized by it. And, you know, we do have um, a tendency to, you know, believe things that were taught from the outside and we have to use our own mind and our own thought systems and our own logic at times because we really have everything we need inside if we can just allow ourselves to connect with that and sometimes to just pray and ask for support and help help and then you know wait for it to come to us instead of just you know not doing anything that are that is empowering us so I think it's important to have more faith in ourselves and in our own higher power and belief system, whatever that is. Um, for a lot of people, the bad thing they got out of this is they realize that their health is in the shitter at the end of the day, okay? And that's something that we always had control over and we still do and we still can improve. So if you're, you know, if you were really scared then there's a good chance that you need to upgrade your health. And that's something that is very doable because what we eat affects our health, how we move our body affects our health, what we think and what we expose ourselves to affects our health. You know, if we're watching like, you know, disturbing shows all day long or if we're watching the news all day long, we're gonna get sick eventually because that is not supporting our health. Um, so I don't watch the news and maybe I'm a little bit out of, you know, touch with what's going on, but trust me, I hear it from everyone I talk to and I don't at all feel out of the loop. And sometimes I prefer not to know because I don't, again, like I don't believe everything I hear and see in the news and on television and on social media. I make my own decisions from the knowledge that I've learned and from, you know, my own belief system, which... I've been working on for a long time. Also, this um, for some people, they really have no tools to fall back on. So this was an opportunity, if you were stuck inside, to actually start practicing some spiritual type of practice. And I think it's really important because we're so much more than our physical bodies, we are spirits living in our physical bodies and if we don't take care of that and start working on that part of us then we're going to really have very little to fall back on but when we have a strong sense of you know our who we are you know we are created by a higher power all of us and if we can turn to that and i personally like i've told you before i love a course in miracles that's really been my, my saving grace, to be honest, and especially through this time. Um, Marianne Williamson, she's my guru. She was running for president. I was supporting her. She did not make it you know, that far, but I was just so impressed with her. But she teaches A Course in Miracles. She's an author, she's a speaker, and you can get her books um, 
one of them is um oh my god i can't think of it if you guys want to type it in you know but you can find her she has tons of books out there and that's how i learned about a course in miracles so that's a really good spiritual practice if you don't have one right now and it's not a religious practice it's a spiritual practice um but anyway so if you if that was a something bad that happened to you that you realize that you're really in trouble Hi, Rebecca, because your health is terrible, you can change that. And I wrote this book, and I would love for you to post below if you would like. A, um, I have it on Kindle now. I just have to figure out a way to send it to you. But if you want a copy of this book, just say, I want a copy of the Kindle, and I will give it to you as a gift. If you want to buy a copy, you can get it on Audible. I also have some copies at home if you live in the area, and I will be happy to sell you a copy. But in here, there's tons of ways that you can improve your health. And I have some spiritual things. And I have a practice on spiritual healing and a, a lot of holistic ways to improve your health from diet to essential oils to CBD. I talk about chiropractic and just a lot of stuff. But I don't want to go into that. So another thing I noticed with this virus time was that people are using it to their advantage so in other words let's say you are um you are an introvert well you're really in luck right now and you might be using it almost as a manipulation factor to your um, family members to kind of put them in like a state of fear and try to not let them you know start getting back into society society for fear that they're gonna bring the virus to you um so if you're not in that you know if you're not an introvert and you're more of an outgoing extrovert and you really feel like you need to get out and do something well i'm really happy to say that things are going to start getting better but at the same time we always still had the opportunity at least in Jersey to get out and connect with nature. And that was a, another really positive thing that I saw was that people were getting out in nature and the birds were so loud and the, just like everything just seemed so heightened because it was really all we had. But at the end of the day, that is who we are. So nature is something we need to really continue to connect with. You know, get out on your bicycle, go for hikes, get to the beach, go to the mountains. There's just so much beauty all around us, and we are so blessed to be on this planet right now. You know, as hard as things are or were, um, I think we can really appreciate it so much more because that was all we had, and now that we're gonna be able to start going back to our lifestyles again, I, I just hope we continue to really cherish um, the earth and everything it has to offer. And especially with this beautiful weather, we really, I hope we're all going to get out there more and enjoy all the gifts that we have here. Um, and then also, now that we're going back, hi, Lisa. Um, I'm just hoping that, you know, we can maybe realize that we've done with so much less than we are used to. So one thing I noticed was I had my schedule and I would go to the, you know, the gym one day, I go to Pilates one day, you know, I was getting my nails done, I was getting my hair done regularly, like um, going out to dinner a lot, ordering in a lot, and going to, you know, shopping therapy like TJ Maxx. Hi, Mimi. I used to love to do that and that would basically try to, it was almost like an addiction. Like when I was down, that's what I would do, right? But I realized that I really don't need all that. And I can, it, it was actually just a distraction. So I think now that we've really been with so much less, we can really, you know, not have to do so much and we can be more independent and more powerful because Really, power is not needing things, but needing less things. And that's what really makes us stronger. You know, it's good to have things and want things and do things, but when you need things like that, like you need to go out to dinner, you need to order in, you need to, you know, get your nails done all the time or 
go shopping all the time or do things like that, that's not as good as just wanting to do it and knowing that that's really, you know, we're lucky to do it and we can appreciate that and not take that for granted. So I thought I wanted to just share that with you. That was something that I feel really good about and like the self care piece as well. We don't have to go to a, and I'm not trying to take business away because I want everyone to get back into business and I want the economy to do better, but there's nothing like caring for yourself. So, you know, maybe you used to go get your toes done because it was a self-care practice, but you know what? What about taking some time to just give yourself a foot massage and taking out that coconut oil and, you know, some essential oils and just like giving yourself a loving foot massage or a loving body massage, you know, take a bath and just relish in how lucky you are to have a body that you can take care of as good as you want to. You know, our bodies are our vehicle on this planet right now and we really owe it to our bodies to take extra good care of it because without a body we really have nowhere to live just like without an earth that's healthy we have nowhere to live so you know our bodies aren't everything yes <laughs> treat yourself but without it we have nowhere to live so our spiritual selves we have to care for our spiritual selves we have to take extra good care of our bodies you know I have a really nice car. I treated myself to my nice car and now I need new brakes and I need I need um, new tires and I'm upset because it's going to cost me a lot of money to get those new brakes and those new tires. But you know what? I'm not going to wait for my tires to blow and for my brakes to completely break when I'm driving and have a bad car accident. I'm going to do that as a preventative because if I invest in my car, my car is gonna take care of me and that goes for your body too. If you invest in your body and give it what it needs and look at it in, in a way that you can prevent stuff from happening down the road, then you know that your body is gonna take better care of you in the end. And at the end of the day, again, I'm gonna have to tell you, and I always end my lives with this, chiropractic is such a powerful tool that affects every part of your body and your mind. So if you're gonna do one self-care thing, I can only urge you so much to do chiropractic and do it on, for the long term, you know? It's like keeping your oil changed regularly and you know, making sure your, your, your tires are aligned. I mean, this is your body. This is your nervous system. This controls everything. It controls your immune system, your heart, your lungs, your muscles, your joints, you know, your ability to adapt to your environment, to think logically, you know, to understand how the world works and how to relate to others. It really is a powerful modality. So, so, to end on this call again, I just want to share, you know, think about what you got out of this. Like what were your wins from this? Because everybody got something out of it. And if you didn't get something good out of it, then you need to really go back and look at what happened. And, you know, if even if it was a really bad thing, there's some silver lining. And if you look hard enough, you'll find it. Um, support your businesses that you love now that they're opening up because I know one out of every three restaurants are going to be closing permanently and we don't want that to happen to the places that we really love. So, you know, get out there and support them. But again, that doesn't mean you have to go out to eat every night. Um, so cooking from home is really important and, you know, cooking healthy and, you know, buying, going to the farmer's markets now that are opening up, thank God, and just like getting a whole bunch of great fresh local vegetables and fruits and grass-fed meats, you know, things like that, supporting your farmer's markets, supporting your farmers. That's what we want to do right now because they're taking good care of the earth. And again, organic, organic, organic. Do not eat anything but organic because what those pesticides they're using are destroying our gut. 
When our gut's destroyed, our bodies can't be healthy. So we want to eat organic and lots of fruits and vegetables. And if I didn't say hi to you, Neil, I'm sorry. Hi, Neil. <laughs> but I hope I helped you today. I wish you guys a wonderful uh, week and weekend. And I look forward to seeing you again on Wednesday next week. So much love and so much peace and so much health to you. Take care. Bye.